Now, America's top diplomat has once again highlighted the Trump administration's stance of pursuing continued pressure against North Korea until it achieves denuclearization. U.S. lawmakers and other officials are also calling for steady pressure on the regime, especially as the recent Hanoi summit ended prematurely with no agreement in hand. Kim Hyo-sun reports. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has reaffirmed Washington's goal of pursuing North Korea's final fully verified denuclearization, stressing sanctions will continue until that goal is met. In written remarks to the U.S. House Appropriations Subcommittee hearing on the State Department's budget request for 2020, Pompeo explained that the Trump administration's diplomatic efforts with North Korea have been more successful than former U.S. administrations. The remarks seem to confirm that the administration will carry out dialogue and pressure as denuclearization negotiations have hit a deadlock following last month's No Deal Hanoi summit. U.S. lawmakers are also calling for continued sanctions until the regime's denuclearization. Brad Sherman, chairman of the House Subcommittee on Asia, the Pacific and Nonproliferation, said during the subcommittee hearing that better sanctions are needed for better results. David Stilwell, nominee to be Washington's top diplomat for East Asia, said during his confirmation hearing Wednesday that the U.S. will not ease pressure on North Korea based only on its pledge to denuclearize. Saying Washington has been fooled numerous times, he highlighted the need for steady pressure on the regime. Meanwhile, the commander of U.S. forces in South Korea, Army General Robert Abrams, told the House Armed Services Committee that Pyongyang's nuclear and missile activities have been, quote, inconsistent with its pledge to denuclearize. He made the comment when asked whether there has been any change in the regime's production of nuclear weapons material and missiles. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.